Hello everyone! We are so happy and excited to finally show the new The Settlers and the work of our team. The Settlers is the culmination of all our efforts with a clear goal in mind, bringing the core values of the series to a modern game. We want to offer our veteran fans and new ones an iteration of a brand that has made a very unique mark among strategy games. The Settlers offers a deep infrastructure and economy gameplay, used to create and employ armies to ultimately defeat opponents in a map. This blend offers our players a special journey in every match, where they have to fine-tune their production capacity as well as control the flow of battles. The journey begins with a strong economy aspect. Players have to build up their bases, resource gathering, take care of infrastructure with road connections and process all of those materials in order to advance their settlements further. With the new unit class, the Engineer, they'll be able to construct buildings, claim new territory, survey for underground deposits and interact with the map's landmarks. On each map, players will find landmarks, which are key strategic points that they can take over, complete their requirements and obtain rewards from. And they'll be able to defend those, as well as their bases, with their fully controllable military support and siege units. There's also a dash of trading, research and food boosting, all of which increase the possibilities and the strategies that our players will be able to explore. The game also boasts three different game modes, including a very strong single-player campaign, multiplayer modes for players to fight in matchmaking with their friends or against AI, and also an onslaught mode, which will allow our strongest players to face very unique challenges. In The Settlers, we bring players into a situation where their people are forced to leave their homes and end up in an unknown area of the world. That is where the trouble really begins, as a new conflict with ruthless bandits emerges for the Ilari. The faction players follow in the campaign. When we developed the three factions, we wanted to ensure that each one of them feels different. We also wanted to ensure that none of them was ultimately superior. Each faction has strengths, but none of them have disadvantages. So players can pick whatever suits their playstyle best, and we invite them to explore these in the skirmish modes. Every faction has a unique identity. The Ilari are craftsmen and builders. Their buildings are strong and sturdy, and their specialists find resources faster than anyone else. The Maru have lived in harmony with nature for a long time. They excel at trading and building defenses. The Yorn are fast and relentless attackers. They perceive everything as a challenge and are as harsh as the land they live on. Each faction has a unique unit that carries special gear and has stronger stats. The combat is closely connected to the economy. The better your economy, the larger your army. Each unit serves a specific purpose and some even have special abilities and skills. But winning a fight is not only a question of numbers, but also highly depends on the mix of units you chose. We really want to give players the feeling that, on every map, they are not alone. The land has been occupied by bandits already, and safety is nowhere on the horizon. So the lands we tread on are dangerous, and the few allied settlements are like small havens that stand out of them. The feeling of a living world is strengthened by the many landmarks we have added. Players will tread on ancient lands, islands that have seen multiple ages of attempted civilization over the centuries. So the players often are not the first ones to settle there, and they will find out why. Every landmark comes with its own requirements, and players will be rewarded by completing them with additional goods, units and journal entries that give them an insight into the background story. Most of these story elements will of course be explored in the campaign, as players take on the role of an envoy for the Alari. But the true challenge awaits in the skirmishes, where players can fight each other or relentless AI. We always wanted to give players the opportunity to personalize their experience, and we are happy that we were able to fit that goal into the framework of a modern game experience. As a result, players will be able to collect items that can alter different aspects of the game, from unique border stones up to buildings and more. The new The Settler is a friendly, fresh and welcoming game, an inviting place with vibrant colors in a simplified, realistic world. We would like to invite the players to a very immersive strategy game experience, taking them into a trip 
dive into an incredible rich world, a world full of detail and full of life. The players will discover a fantasy world. The game has no intention to be historical or geographical accurate, but a world which is larger than life, with iconic landscapes, three different engaged environments, and a large number of memorable landmarks. The Forgotten Lands was inspired by the middle European countries, with their crystal lakes and waterfalls. A strong palette rich in warm green tones, a must-have classical salad environment. With the Cursed Lands, we'd like to bring the players to the warm south, moving the palette to the yellows, orange and olive tones. We focus our references here to the Brazilian dry land called Caatinga, as well as Samoa, Fiji and the Pacific Islands with their paradisic beaches. The Veiled Islands is a foggy, cooler, rain environment. Players will find dark forests, swampy areas and mystical places, and a palette variety between cool grays and blues, a sharp geology and a strong Scandinavian feeling. In order to create a unique world and inspire us to design the three different factions in the game, we dig into different references of the nature. We use trees, mushrooms, flowers, animal patterns, termite houses and creatures of the ocean. We wanted to create a diverse world, a world where men and women perform the same jobs without distinction. What defines the factions in the cellars is their belonging to a specific cultural identity. It means a clothing manufacturing or architecture style, but definitely not the skin color. We will welcome the players into a diverse world with three different factions, ethnicity polarity and a clear culture profile. We hope you have enjoyed the work of our team and are as excited as us for the release of our game in March 17, 2022.